friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do the mid-year freakout tag, finally. I will preface this by saying I have not read a lot this year. <laughs> I've been in a lot of slumps, so I only have a few books to really mention here, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna dive right into these questions to get this going. So, first question is the best book you've read so far in 2020. So, honestly, it's between two for me. It's An Ember of the Ashes by Sabah Tahir and Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I loved both of these so much for similar but different reasons. For this one, I think I loved the relationship between Adrian and Noma and just like the way the world is. I think it's so intriguing and then for this one I I loved the main characters not for their relationship with each other but just for their personalities and what they stand for I guess if that makes sense so I'm really excited to read the sequels to both these <laughs> the next question is the best sequel you've read so far in 2020 so I haven't read a lot of sequels this year because I slumped uh, but the only sequel I've read is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han and I don't know if it was the best sequel, <laughs> but it was a sequel and it was good. I think I gave it four stars and I really didn't like Peter, but what else is new? I think I liked this for the most part though. I still haven't watched the movie because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so maybe this summer that's my next goal is to watch this movie now that I've read the book. <laughs> Number three is new release you haven't read yet but want to. So for that one I chose You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I've heard such good things. It's, it sounds adorable so I'm really really hoping I can get to this at some point this summer. Hey friends it is editing Alana here. I just want to say so I filmed this video before my black booktuber tag video. I put You Should See Me in a Crown under this category and then I started it. So that's why when you watch this video, it's kind of gonna be out of order with the Black Booktuber video. Because in the Black Booktuber one, I said I had started it, which I, which I have. So <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there so that way nobody's confused and nobody's like, you're lying. And I'm like, I swear I'm not. All right, bye. Because I wanna be, I wanna be in the know. I wanna be cool. I'm not cool. Number four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. If you've been here for a while, this might not be the surprise, but the book I of course chose was The Damned by Renee Adier because I'm so excited for that book because it's gonna be so beautiful and all the things are happening and I just wanna, I, I wanna fangirl and I'm just so excited because I need to know what happens next to my children because they're, they're just, I want them to have happy things in life and I, this is the only, the second book so I know that's probably not gonna happen but I could hope, right? I could, I could hope. So yeah, that is what I'm really looking forward to this year. There are some other ones, but I think right now this is the one that's taking precedent because it's coming up. Number five is Biggest Disappointment. So for this one I chose This Time Will Be Different by Misa Sugiura. I liked the book. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So I was a little disappointed because I guess I had hyped it up more in my mind and I hate when I do that. So definitely was not the best, but still good read. I think I gave it three stars. So I still would recommend it if you want to read it. I just, I think I had higher expectations for it than it was met. Number six biggest surprise i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna go back to renegades and an ember of ashes but i'm only going to go back to this because of the fact that they're both fantasy slash kind of sci-fi ish and i really wasn't expecting to love these as much as i do especially because i'm just i'm more of a contemporary person usually but i feel like this year i've been really giving fantasy a chance and it's been working out somewhat so I am just kind of shocked 
and I don't really know what to do with this information. I've been craving fantasy and I don't really know what to do about it besides like read fantasy, so I don't know, especially because I have, I still have a lot of Kim Contemporary I still need to read, so we'll see how this goes. A seven is favorite new author, debut, or new to you, and I'm, I'm just going to keep going back to these two books. I'm going to say, I don't know if Marissa Meyer is a new favorite for me yet because I haven't read any of her other books, but I know Sabatier is definitely a new favorite for me. I think she's been kind of slipping into the favorites for a while because I also follow her on Twitter and her tweets are always so funny to me, so I was really excited to see if that would cross over into her writing and her book and, and it did so I'm excited to read what happens next in the series just to see if that continues or not so next question is news fictional crush I do not think I have one honestly I don't really I don't know if I have fictional crushes anymore I more just have like I want to adopt you vibes <laughs> and I'm okay with that number nine is newest favorite character I also don't know if I have a new favorite character I feel like I don't have favorites. I feel like I just, I love each person and each story for different things. And so when I'm reading that story, that person is my favorite at that time. But then when I move on to the next story, that person is my favorite at the time. And it's like a whole thing. <laughs> I'm going to say probably Celine from The Beautiful, but that's just because The Damned is about to come out. So I'm like, I'm rehyping myself up for it. <laughs> a book that made you cry. So I'm going to say, Perks of Being a Wallflower by Steven Chbosky is definitely one that made me cry, especially listening to the audiobook. It was just a lot. <laughs> and just relating to it was a lot. <laughs> so by the end, I was kind of teary-eyed because I, I just related to Charlie so much in those moments. And yeah. A book that made you happy. I'm just going to go back to Renegades because... I really did enjoy this and I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, same with An Ember in the Ashes and I just had so much joy reading this and I wish I could go back. The most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. So I have two. So for this one it's the Fairy Loot edition of, of Girl Serpent Thorn. It is just so beautiful. I love this cover and the edges are sprayed this pretty green so this is definitely up there. But I also ordered the Fairy Loot edition of The Damned and I'm so excited because it looks so beautiful with the lilac sprayed edges and I just, I could barf just with how beautiful that book is going to be. Okay, the last question is what books do you need to read by the end of this year? I need to read a lot of books by the end of this year. Honestly, half these books on the shelves are not read. So I'm just gonna say all of them because I can't just pinpoint one also with the way this year is going i don't even know what is going to get read and what's not going to get read so i would rather just not say definite answers because i'm probably gonna fail so yeah <laughs> anyways that was my mid-year freak out tag pray that i get out of the sump this summer because i would like to get some good reading stuff in anyways if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns whatever please comment all of that down below if you are not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds mm -hmm.